The parable of today is a little difficult to understand. Crumbs from Jabad. Jesus said to the disciples, There was a rich man who had a steward against whom charges were brought that he was wasting his goods. So he said to the steward, Turn in the account of your stewardship. The steward said to himself, I have decided what to do, so that people may receive me into their houses when I am put out of the stewardship. So summoning his master's debtors, he said to the first, How much do you owe my master? He said, A hundred measures of oil. He said to him, Take your bill and write fifty. He said to another, and How much do you owe? He said, A hundred measures of wheat. He said, Write eighty. The master commended the dishonest steward for his shrewdness. First of all, a clarification of terms. In the time of Jesus, rich people normally didn't work. They had stewards and managers to look after their affairs. And here is the case of this steward over here. Now, in the full parable, I've given you only an abridged version. The steward says, I'm too weak to dig and I'm ashamed to beg. Now, for a certain class of people, digging and begging were undignified jobs. And so the steward would not try to dig or beg. But then he gets this idea. He said, I will change the bills so that I will make friends with the people who can later help me. And with that idea, he carries on and the parable carries on. But what is difficult to understand in this parable is this. Jesus praises the steward for his shrewdness, but condones his dishonesty. And therefore, we are surprised. How could Jesus overlook his dishonesty? Now, there are different ways of understanding this. The first is, typically any parable has just one focus. So you need to focus only on the main point on the parable and don't look at the other points. In this case, look only at the shrewdness, the ingenuity of the steward and not at his dishonesty. The second, the money that the steward cancels from the bill is not dishonesty. It is the profit that he would have made, a huge profit that he would have made, he cancels off so that what he's cancelling off is his own profit. Well, these are ways of understanding it. But the main point of the parable is that we as Christians should work as hard on our Christian faith as people of the world work in their business or leisure. And now a minute meditation for you. Christianity will begin to be real and effective only when we spend as much time and effort on it as we do on our worldly activities. For example, take the time we spend on TV and the mobile. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, have a wonderful day with Jesus.